Good morning. Welcome to today's video. It is 6.52. I'm about to head in and take a class. I'm still taking classes Tuesdays, Thursdays. Lifetime had like a huge renovation. I had been working out downstairs for months, not months, years, <laughs> years in that downstairs Alva area. They are turning or leaving the one side a basketball court and turning the other side into like a permanent pickleball area. So Alpha area is gone. They moved it upstairs, which I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bring my big camera in because we're still like trying to figure out. There's like a weird space for alpha conditioning, but I'll try to record on my phone. It looks really good, but like the gym anxiety has been high <laughs> because it was like every day you went up, they were, they had moved stuff around. So everything was different every single day. And I'm like, where am I going to work out? Cause it's still been super busy. Um, but the past couple days, it seems like they're done moving stuff around now that the alpha area upstairs is done. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been working out at the same gym for since middle school. And I had gym anxiety again because I didn't know where any of the machines were. It was just a cluster. But it's all done now, I think. They're still working on like the gym or the basketball and pickleball, but that's obviously very out of the way. Anywho, let's head in, go take a class. I spent all day uh, with Emmy yesterday doing like just stay at home mom role. She has not been feeling well. If you follow me on Instagram, you heard me talk about all this. So I don't want to sound, you know, very repetitive, but she seems to be doing a little bit better. So I kept her home yesterday just because I knew she needed the rest. Depending on how she does today, we might bring her for a little bit. I feel like still probably not. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to take you through the day starting off with a workout. I've been pacing my paces, no kamikaze I've been making my makers say what I'm offering We've all had behaviors and they've been troubling Smoke way too much, I keep coughing I pull out all the stops to make a profit When I get down to the bottom, I need topping Come here and ease my mind, be my clonopin Let me chug this thing and be proud of it I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud And you can't sit still when we on the floor And I'm on the floor the force is no problem. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor and I'm on the force and you use the force is no problem. When I'm with you, I'm holier than Jesus Religious freedom, paid leave to get on my knees And pray to you if you're cool with cosplay and teaching I don't mean to come across facetious But it's all a joke to me and it should be to all of these Yikes! Oh my gosh, if you can't tell by my face and my hair That was a sweaty one Um, I always go into classes and just like really any workout in general, but specifically while pregnant. Knowing I'm gonna have to modify some stuff, but I give myself a lot of options. So today, a lot of the core exercises I couldn't do, I did do the Russian twists, but I did them without weight, and I did them me basically sitting up, like whatever allowed my core to keep like braced the entire time. Um, if I would have lifted my legs, I would have had coning. My core is already separating. I'm not trying to make that worse. And it's just like, why? Why, why do that to myself? I'm just gonna make it harder on the back end. So I always modify whatever feels good in my body that day. Today I felt really, really good. Um, I, I don't know what I did differently. Um, it obviously just varies day to day, just like everyone, but I was able to do a lot of the workout, still modified like the burpees with like the jump. Um, I was stepping back instead of jumping back. I do a high incline walk instead of running to get to the zone three and try and think what else did I modify? There was supposed to be another exercise. Oh, V-ups. Once again, that's like not even an option right now. So I did um, plank with alternating shin tabs that still kind of gets that like V motion but being prone, like being face down, I'm able to contract my core way better. Um, and then even as those got fatiguing, I stopped and just was doing uh, bird dogs. So you can always modify. The classes are still really fun. It's nice right now, um, especially on the days where I'm like not feeling it. I'm like, I already booked the class, you gotta go. So it's just helped me stay consistent, but I've still like really, really, really been enjoying my own workouts. So it's a good balance right now. Very proud of myself for staying this active and, you know, 
modifying where I need to, but getting it done. I had a piece of raisin the roof toast this morning with the cornbread nut butter, having my smoothie now, and I'm sure I'm gonna have like a bagel around like 10 or so. It's 8.13, and I think I already closed all my rank, aside from my like stand goal. Yeah, I'm 89% there in terms of closing all my rings. care center today um, because she hasn't been feeling well she's been very 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 clingy like honestly feels like having a newborn again but just like 20 pounds heavier and I'm pregnant obviously so I've been like so out of breath but this happened yesterday too Chris just happened to already be at the gym it was like inconsolable nothing was making her happy and then i was like she's just got to be tired so went upstairs and that worked i was able to set her down and she took a three hour nap so like clearly very tired her poor little body's trying to recover um but today when she hit that point chris was still here and she wanted both of us to comfort her like the only thing that made her stop crying was chris and i both hugging her like she had to be touching both of us it was so sweet but also like heartbreaking because she was just like crying uncontrollably, screaming, poor little thing. So I tried taking her up, but because Chris was still here, she wanted both of us. Um, and then she got to the point finally, like an hour later, no, probably 45 minutes, um, where it looked like she was starting to get like really tired. So Chris was like, I'm not in any rush to get to the gym. I'll go upstairs, see if I can get her to nap. She fussed for a few minutes, but it seems like she's sleeping now. So. Long story short, I took the time to put myself together because I was disgusting from that workout. And I figured, I talked about this a little bit on Instagram, but I had mentioned that I wanted to try different contour and blush. And when I was at Ulta getting my, like restocking on my shampoo, detangler and root lifter, I snagged the new, well, I don't know if it's new, it's new to me the sculpt tape contour so i have this one and i got it in the blush tape so these like these look exactly the same obviously just different colors so it just has that little soft tip and then you can like open it if you squeeze it a little bit comes up but you can twist it to lock it where did i put the lid i'm holding it wow <laughs> yikes um this one looks the same they have this in i think like four different colors i got where does it say pink um, I haven't used this one yet, obviously. However, I have used this one. This is Tarte uh, Man Eater. Interesting name. Um, but same thing, another liquid blush. I've seen a couple people review this and love it. So this one honestly looks like a lip gloss. Like it's very like sticky looking, but the color is so 
pretty. This is, oh, this also says cheek plump, I don't know. Where's the color? Oh, this is also pink, so I guess I got the same color. Anyway, um, I wanted to try both to see which one I liked better. I definitely like the application of this one more, so seeing as though they're the same color, I guess I'm gonna start using this one. Um, I feel like it's a little bit easier to control and you can kind of like fade it rather than having just like globs. So anyway, I've been liking that. I feel like it's a lot smoother on my skin uh, rather than having a bunch of powder. Seems to stay in place a little bit longer. I like the way it feels better on my skin. So I'll do an updated get ready with me soon, like the next time I put myself fully together. But those are the new products I snagged. I'm gonna keep using them and decide if I like them or not, and then I might try something different if I don't like them, but so far I am. And now I don't know what to do. I was planning on Chris being at the gym and me being with her, but I guess she was probably gonna be napping anyway at this time. 9.40, she had been down to one nap, which started at like noon, like 12.30 to like 1.30, 2-ish, depending on when she went down. Yesterday she napped from 9.30 to 12.30. <laughs> that ended up being her only nap, but still. Ugh. I guess I'll go make food. Chris just sent a disgusting gif saying that he got her to sleep though, like a thumbs up. But this guy looks like he has boobs. <laughs> anyway, okay, I guess I'm gonna go make some food, take advantage of the time that she's sleeping. He's gonna go to the gym after she gets up and then figure out the rest of the day from there. I don't know. It's very much a, I mean, we always kind of go with the flow just because thankfully our, um, you know, working from home, owning our own businesses, allow us to be flexible. But specifically right now, you just have to be very flexible because you don't know how she's gonna be. <laughs> mm. Oh, that was heartbreaking watching her this morning. She, I like handed her off to Chris because he was like, let me have her, like I'm in no rush to get to the gym. And then I handed her and she was like, mama, mama. And so then we were both hugging her and that was like the, literally the only thing that made her stop crying. Should we take some snacks and go on a walk with Lulu? Best indoor playground in Ohio. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not even gonna pretend. I am so tired. <laughs> and this is the first time we've been inside um, since she woke up that she hasn't been screaming. We just went and sat outside and watched the sprinklers for like 10 minutes, that was really nice. But the only thing that got her to stop before that was watching TV. I had on that like 4K, 4K aquarium channel on YouTube. So it's literally just like fish. <laughs> and then she kept telling me no. Do, do you want this? Do you want to get up? Up? Okay. Um, she probably wants the camera now. And she kept saying no to that, so I turned on Miss Rachel and she was just like laying on me. Do you wanna talk? What do you wanna say? Okay. Vlogging today might be hard.
everyone's loaded up. We needed to get out of the house. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Yeah, Lou, you're coming too, girl. Got your baby? I can't let you go, baby. recorded with four different cameras for this vlog. <laughs> my big one that I use for like sit down videos, my normal vlog camera that apparently doesn't have a battery in it, um, my little travel camera that I used to vlog with, and my phone. It's been all over the place. Last week was an absolute disaster with Emmy. Like I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat it. Um, I mentioned in here that like, it didn't seem like she was feeling good. I ended up taking her to the pediatrician. They thought maybe she had a sinus infection, tried to give us an antibiotic. I ended up not giving it to her just because it, I don't know. I just had this like gut feeling that she didn't need it. Seemed like it made it worse the one day she took it. And it was like, I don't know, regardless, didn't end up giving it to her. And then we noticed when we were like playing with her or Chris's mom actually noticed that her molar had come through and we're like, oh, this makes so much sense. So um, one is already through. I think her other side on the top looks really swollen. So I think that one is also coming through and it looks like one of the bottom ones is as well. So. She's just been super clingy. Her mouth has to hurt so bad. All she wants is like yogurt and those little like cold squeeze packets. She goes up to the fridge every 30 minutes and is like, yo, 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 yo. Whether that's yogurt, any of the squeeze packets. She just wants a squeeze packet and we have like some of them, some of the other like longer sticks frozen that she likes. So it all is making sense now, but yeah, last week was just really hard. We kept her out of the daycare center because we didn't, or the childcare center at Lifetime, because if she was sick, we obviously didn't want to like give it to anyone else. And then once we realized it was molars and she's definitely doing a little bit better this week. We started taking her again yesterday and are slowly getting back to her routine. But that's why this vlog is so choppy. <laughs> that was all to say that was a very long winded explanation but it was just really hard to record. Um, I wasn't gonna try to pretend like I was having a great day either. It was just hard last week. Yeah, like I said, this week's going a little bit better. Um, we went to the zoo yesterday, so that's what you're about to see. <laughs> I added the footage and I was like, this is so choppy, I need to at least explain. So yeah, I went and worked out, I didn't record. I showed going into the gym and then I didn't even bring my camera in. I did an alpha strength class, which was literally just like, it was a Friday class and they always emphasize front squats. So I did front squats that day. Did not feel great because I've just not been sleeping well either. Um, but we got it done and that's all that matters. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't record that workout, but what you're gonna see next and what is gonna wrap up the vlog is our first time at the zoo with her. Yesterday was perfect. It was like overcast, high of 73, AKA, Mama wasn't gonna get too hot walking around. Emmy wouldn't get too hot and like fussy. And it was so much fun. She absolutely loves animals. We got her a penguin stuffed animal that she was just like clung to, it was so cute. Um, so yeah, I think we're definitely gonna start doing that more often. And definitely once we have the part-time nanny start, um, the zoo is so close to us. It's a very easy thing that they can do. So I think we're gonna try to get like a, you know, family pass or whatever. So that can be something that her and the nanny can do if I need, I need or Chris needs some time in the house to record. That's what you're about to see. Our first time at the zoo, it was so much fun. And thankfully she is feeling a little bit better. Um, a lot of you, cause I talked about this on Instagram already, a lot of people on Instagram um, have already given me some really good recommendations on just like easy things we can do to hopefully help soothe her mouth a little bit. Did you see that? Did you 
get that done tomorrow i'm not even gonna pretend i have enough time today i don't um because i still haven't even showered <laughs> but i have a whole holara haul and i actually i have a lot of clothing try-ons i have to do the holara one's gonna be a youtube video i got some new paragon stuff and the color is beautiful and then vitality also sent a whole new collection that i'm praying fits me they have these really cute sweatpants just like very comfy lounge outfits. I know they'll fit great postpartum, but I'm like, I hope they, I hope they fit me now over the belly. So we'll see. I'm gonna do that try on probably just on Instagram. But I will see you in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this. Bye.